Despicable Me! Hi everyone! We have just had two weeks at Endless Summer Resort so what we're going to do is go around a few parts and give you our tips which we wish we'd maybe have known at the beginning of the holiday and we hope it may be useful if you're thinking of coming here. Here is the Beach Break Cafe where you can get breakfast and food. I'll insert some footage on here of our breakfast. The food hasn't been great if I'm honest. I would try and save yourself a city walk or the parks. Do you yeah. agree? Well, I hope we have a friend the also you're literally a two minute walk from international drive so if you're thinking about getting some food even if you have on a pool day you're probably better off just walking out onto i drive that's what we did yeah yeah there is a gym not that we've had much use out of it <laughs> As you come out of the side door opposite the gym, there's just this little thing here which is where you can get your towels for the pool. Plenty of them, yellow and white stripes. We're just round the back of the beach break bar and one of the best things we did was get a two hour freestyle cup for two dollars and then you can just fill them up over there. You can also buy freestyle cups that will last for the day as well but we found sort of two out we'd only sort of have a few hours at the pool wouldn't we so just a three dollar cup paper cup little car paper little cup. chip in the bottom yeah but it sort of saved us paying for one of the resort mugs for your whole trip because you can get those big resort mugs but when you're having the whole day in the parks or the whole day and you're going to sea world or somewhere there's no point paying for it so i think like twice we've paid for the three dollar cups instead aren't we yeah. when you get the elevator the lifts at the front of the building you need your room key to go up but if you walk down particularly yours our room was like four doors down from the elevator and these ones at the back you don't need to dig your room key out which when you've had a day in the park you know, <laughs> sometimes they're like right at the bottom of the you line don't have to stretch out. one thing worth noticing even keep stuff in the lanyards like your room keys and that that don't yeah. scan through the wallets you have to get them out of the wallet yeah so we found it easy just to come to the back here then we dig out our room key while we're in the lift and then flip out now we're out the left will give you a bit of a bird's eye view of the pool so it's really shallow here it doesn't go particularly deep here and it's a bit shallower again at the end there what i love as a parent is wherever you're sat you can see your kid like all throughout two lifeguards one over there one down there there's also life vests down here that you can put on but it's a really really family friendly pool and the pool's open until 11 at night and the deepest it goes is three foot six inches yeah and sometimes it closes before that for like a chemical test or something yeah we are currently in tower two which is the tower we were staying and the guest laundry is only on floors four and seven perfect for us they have a change machine so you don't have to use your card for the washers and dryers you can stick in a dollar bill and get your 25 cents out there they also have a vending machine here with the dryer sheets and the washing detergent and these are one dollar each. You get two dryer sheets for a dollar and then enough for a load in there. We've got three washers down here, three dryers up here and it is three dollars a cycle. They do have a swipe thing and before I noticed you could use your coins. I did try my debit card and it didn't work. So instead, I mean you can see here to the left it's got your washer and so you put your coins in there for that and to the right you've got the dryer above and you put your coins in for that there. Pick your cycles and then press start. And if you've ever used the laundry in Florida before, you'll know that they are massive. We did two weeks worth of laundry in two washes. That was like one white and one colours and we still could have fit loads more in, so save your quarters and then do your washing while you're on holiday. Back into the elevator now and this is the one thing that we wish we knew on our first day next. When we landed at the end of our travel day, and I'll link that video down below for our travel day, that's also got our room tour in, we walked the same way that the buses would go, which was sort of around a big fence to get onto International Drive. We then saw a video on Facebook from a lovely family, Dave posted it onto a Facebook group, and it's a quick way to get onto International Drive. There is a games room here, but we found it quite expensive and obviously no prizes, so I'd go to Dave and Buster's. In the main lobby next to Beach Break Cafe, there is a Starbucks, which is nice to have. We ordered our Universal Horror Nights tickets and put on a Will Call kiosk, and we went to the ones at Universal Studios, not realising there's one here, so pick up your tickets here, eh, Ducky? Where we're going next, which was Dave's top tip, is next to the Starbucks, and then out to the parking garage door here in tower two 
also next to this parking garage thing is one of these water fill machines to save on plastic water. I thought that was really cool. So we're out these parking garage doors and you can see I drive there, there's a KFC there, there's a Walgreens, there's an IHOP just over there, but as you can see there's no sort of door here to get out, but if you walk through this parking garage you're pretty much right on it. We did meet a couple who were staying at Aventura and what they said they used to do is walk to Volcano Bay, get the bus over to here and then you're on iDrive. I actually thought that was quite a good tip if you were staying at Cabana Bay or Aventura that you can get the bus to this resort and then just walk onto iDrive. iDrive yeah, brilliant. Really good house, idea. Yeah. And you can see you can head straight out to sort of where the cars are driving in or to get out there is a door just around this corner. We're at the end of the parking garage now so when you're coming back in you do have to walk around that way because this door is an exit only, you can't get in this way. And we're at the exit door and if we open this up and just show you what you've got on your doorstep, there is literally a subway there, there's some shops over there, there's a Black Angus steakhouse over there. Applebee's within walking distance. Yeah, Applebee's is really close. close. So there's this like Italian buffet. Yeah, you enjoyed the Italian buffet actually, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we insert all those in the, in the description. You've also got the iRide trolley stops just out this door as well. Stop number six on International Drive, both sides. And here's the main lobby. It is absolutely stunning. Loving the pebble seats and the big surf side thing here. So cool. We have got Universal Studios store here as well, which Jimmy wants a quick little look in. Quick little look. <laughs> And right outside the shop it does show you the weather and park hours and things like that which is pretty good as well. It's a pretty big shop, pretty big. We love some of this Endless Summer merch. I would have got a towel if we had any room left in the suitcases. <laughs> it's pretty cool. One thing we did buy is this coaster for six dollars. Got a little bit of Endless Summer to come home with us haven't we? Not much. time at the Endless Summer. Has ended, yeah. To get down to the bus stops, you head towards the luggage services in Tower 1 past the store. So you can see here it says Resort Shuttle and Rideshare Pickup. And just out here there's two bus stops. One for Volcano Bay, it takes you directly to Volcano Bay. And the other one takes you to City Walk. Picked our cases up. Nearly ready to go. Oh, babe. We showed you that sign where it says ride pickup, but whenever we've ordered a lift, it's always come out to the front lobby. So we've had to ignore where it says, supposedly, we never found where the spot's meant to be where lift comes. We always, always went out to the front lobby and we have had quite a few lifts. Yeah, no problems at all. We always dropped off and picked up there. The buses are really good, especially the City Walk Universal one. We've never had to wait more than a few minutes and the ride time is sort of between sort of four and six minutes depending on the traffic and lights. And we left more once. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of some lift prices from here, we always prefer Lyft over Uber. So from here to Orlando International Airport, for a standard you're looking at $20, but then if you wanted the big one for your cases, $29.06. And if you were doing Walt Disney World while you're staying here for a standard lift, you're looking at $14.42. Another popular location, Disney Springs, for a standard lift, you're looking at $13.17. And for SeaWorld, $10.66. Now we've had our 14 nights, our final thoughts, our final review. For me, I would stay at this hotel over any of the other Universal hotels purely because you're right on iDrive and you can get straight out there, get some reasonably priced food and you've got the resort buses to get to Universal very quickly as well. So also price point it is the cheapest currently hotel on Universal. I know, right, bargain. So bargain hunters <laughs> with a bargain hunter. The only negative I would say is that the food for the quick service it ain't great. But when you've got iDrive on your doorstep, what more could you want? Like, for me, there's a lot more choice and a lot better value out there than there would be if you were staying, possibly, at the other Universal hotels. Would you yeah. agree with that? And the only downside for me, slightly again, talking about it, that little bit of extra storage space would have been good. Yeah. But it is workable. What price you pay, my overall feel of the resort is it's, it's got a really good atmosphere, it's good form, nice access for the location. You can't Spot. go wrong. We had a standard room and I'll put some images up now of the room. The rooms are lovely, but like Jim said, there isn't really the storage space there. I'll put a link in the description below from our travel day where you've got the full sort of room tour with the audio on it as well. What was your thoughts, Jimmy, from a kid's perspective? My thoughts? 
were. I think it's lovely room. Yeah. Like if you're and we're on a high going floor, so it's quite nice when you're high up to get the view. Yeah. Yeah. We Beautiful have. view. I really like the pool as well. The pool was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I got a few free sweets from the arcade. So there's some leftovers. Sweets in the app, sweets in the app. <laughs> Thank you for watching our very brief sort of tips for if you're staying at Endless Summers. If you think of any questions, if we've missed anything out, leave a comment and we'll be happy to help uh, as much as we can anyway. Obviously we're no experts, but we try yeah, no our best. Money, so. <laughs> Thank you to all the lovely people that we've met in the hotel as well. Yeah, we've met some awesome people. We've got good clientele here. We shall see you later. Please subscribe to see the rest of our trip. We've had a lovely time. We're begging you. Please subscribe for the old <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. See you, bye. So guys, it's the end of the video, so please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye!